I must salute my beautiful women in uniform here today and the beautiful women of Nigeria. And the great students of Nigeria that are here today. And the beautiful and great women of Nigeria. Great students of Nigeria. Great students of Nigeria. Great women of Nigeria. Great women of Nigeria. Today is our day. I salute you all. It is my pleasure to be part of this year's occasion of the celebration of International Women's Day. Let me start at this point by congratulating women all over the world, particularly Nigerian women, for this special day. Today's occasion offer, offers the opportunity to review and reflect progress on issues of women and girls in line with the year's theme, praise, hashtag praise for progress. This theme is a strong call to motivate and unite friends, colleagues, and the whole communities to think, act, and be gender inclusive. For us here in Nigeria, this year's celebration comes with a difference. In whichever way, it has to reflect the sad incidences of the abduction of our daughters, especially the recent one in that Chiyobe state. And also, some other sad stories that left a lot of our women as widows in some ethnic crisis in Nigeria and some are politically motivated crises. These for us should take center stage. This is the reason we decided to develop a local theme locally, leave our daughters alone, as a strong call for the end of this national disaster and hope for their release. As a mother, I share the sorrow and agony, and agony which the parents are going through up to this moment. I'm aware of the efforts being made for the release of the remaining Chibok girls as well as the, as the recent Dapchi girls adopted. It is my sincere hope that this effort will yield positive results. All these abductions only add to the long list of evil against women and girls in our society, including using them for suicide bombings. This should be concern to every Nigerian, especially mothers. It is a disturbing issue for which we must put our heads together, pray, speak out, show and share concern, and send goodwill to ensure that the situation will soon come to an end. To this effect, I wish to make an emphatic call to the individuals involved in abductions and other evil against our daughters to please, can you repeat after me three times? To please leave our daughters alone. Leave our daughters alone. Leave our daughters alone. This message must echo through all the corners of Nigeria and be on everyone's lips. I therefore charge Nigerians, especially the media, to join this campaign and ensure that nobody will find it attractive to adopt, maltreat, or abuse our daughters anymore. And I cannot conclude my speech without identifying some of the major problems hindering our society from progressing. Because some of our daughters are being used as sex, sex slaves in the universities, which nobody is talking about it, and it's a major problem, and it's causing a lot of setback in the society. They use them as sex slaves from primary school, secondary, up to university. And also, Recently, they have started sex trafficking them through the Mediterranean, where a lot of lives 
are lost, and some are managed to be back home. We hope that the government will do something about it. And also, by taking illicit drugs that destroyed almost a whole generation in Nigeria. I wish to appreciate the effort of stakeholders at all levels that are making everything possible to ensure that they correct some certain mistakes, some certain avoidable mistakes, and also to make sure that they find our girls. Finally, I'll call our I call on women leaders, especially wives of state governors, to be committed and champion this campaign to end the abduction of our young girls and daughters. Thank you very much and God bless you all.